So, um, so the wonderful thing was I had, my son was motivated to get a hundred points. And of course it's obvious, you know, if we have conflict, he's going to get points for working out conflict with me. But I've got to say, we didn't have a whole lot of conflict after that. And so I had this wonderful challenge of coming up with other exercises. And so one of the things he's like, I want more points. I'm like, okay. And we'd go out and we'd, you know, play basketball for a while, you know, or go out and do something fun. And so then for points, I would, I'd pull out this deck, right? This is the emotions connected to met needs. I'd pull out this deck and I'd say, okay, now um, I don't want you to just go through these cards and let me know what feelings do you have after having played basketball? And, and, you know, we'd have a great connection. So he might feel more adoring, more alive, amused. We'd sometimes be goofing around on the court, appreciative. Um, what else? Maybe delighted. Uh, let's see. Grateful, happy invigorated, although that wasn't a 10 year old word. We did, by the way, shorten these decks. I had him choose the words he wanted to use when I played these games with him. So I'm demonstrating with full decks, but when you're working with somebody younger, have them sort through the decks to figure out what's in their vocabulary and what's not, and that'll make things easier. He felt loving. He was pleased. Maybe he was proud because he improved a skill. Right? He might have felt satisfied in a way. He felt warm. Right? So he'd have all these pleasant feelings that would come up. And, and it's a way of expressing gratitude. It's a way of connecting between doing something I enjoy with someone I care about and having good feelings. So it helped him to anchor that piece. Right? And then I'd say, wonderful. Now I'm gonna have you go through this deck and let me know which of your needs or longings were met by playing basketball with me. So he'd go through this one. Maybe there was some learning in there, certainly movement and exercise. Uh, what else, some closeness, some challenge. Hmm. Some celebration. Participation, right? Partnership. And so he'd start to identify what were the needs that were met. Laughter, choice, some freedom, adventure, fun, friendship, joy, connection, appreciation. Caring, understanding, play, <clears throat> love, family. Right. So we'd identify what needs were met. And again, it's, it's a form of gratitude. And it also really helps to anchor in that, um, that the feelings are connected to the needs. When needs are met, we have these pleasant feelings. When needs are not met, we have these unpleasant feelings. So every time we played this, it was anchoring this knowledge into uh, my son's um, self-awareness. Uh, so that was another one of the games we played.